Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another episode of Goyo Shield Tutorials. Today, we are on my least favorite map of the whole damn game. Uh, cons actually, I hate Bank a little more. I don't like Bank, uh, but we're on Consulate. This is my least favorite uh, competitive map, just because it's been in the game for five years, and hasn't really been excessively changed like the other maps. But, either way, I'm going to show you guys some Goyo Shield spots. Uh, and the first spot that I have used before, and it's actually worked uh, a couple times when I was a Goyo noob, is you take black car, white van, and any combination of your shields, and you can put one here, here, or here, right? That's all you're gonna do. That's gonna give you a couple of things here. First of all, most likely, uh, you're gonna have some ADSs here, so shield here is protected. They're gonna have to waste you till to deal with this crap, right? And that means that you can play the cars a little bit more aggressive if you have a good aimer, someone who's very aggressive. Uh, it also can deny, if you put them closer to the door, it can deny any breaches that they make. So if they breach a hole here, it covers it. They're gonna have to take some damage, right? It can, it can be really easy plant denial. It's probably, in terms of like shooting it for plant denial, it's probably, if you're a Goyo noob, one of the easiest things that you can do to get good at learning the timing of shooting the Goyo shields. Now, of course, in Garage, the entire freaking ceiling is soft, so be very careful. Also, be careful about putting your shields there because this is like the most common thing to get bucked out, and they might see the shield and just go, oh, over here, buck, okay? Now, what I have seen is a lot of people who are noobs to consulate don't attack this side. So I'm gonna say it, a shield here, a Goyo shield isn't actually that bad, right? if you're playing against noobs. That's all I'm gonna say, they're not gonna know how to deal with it. You're gonna get some free kills, they're gonna have to vault into cafe, and you're just gonna get some free kills if they're noobs. Um, I never really have set up shields in cafe other than this one. I really do like the shield when it is in play because you can see, you can peek the stairs, that's right there, that's like putting a mirror window on the stairs. You can't really shoot that way, but you can have intel if someone's there, and it's really easy to hear if someone's coming down the hallway. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you can also, okay, you can't look down uh, down the hallway, which is pretty good for balancing if you think about it. So you'd have to put the shield maybe this way, but you would lose that left side of the staircase. Just be careful with the Goyo shield here, because, it, you know, this is like a really common rotate. In fact, I would highly recommend you play with a rotate here. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, you know, they're gonna be planting default spot most of the time, which means that they're gonna have some guy over there, which means that at some point, there's gonna be a gun trained on this area. So a Goyo shield here can be really good early game if you need an extra shield, or maybe you're playing a shield over here, which is another great shield spot, right? Because like I said, a lot of, not a lot of people do that. So if you have a guy playing in cafeteria, they are not gonna, the, the guy over there is not gonna have enough time when he comes into entry frag cafeteria to shoot the red, the shield, so you will be able to probably get a refrag or a pinch, and you'll still have the shield ready to go. However, this is another common buck spot. So you have to be aware that your shield's gonna get destroyed. Probably if it's in that spot. I've seen this shield before. This is a great shield. I love this shield. Be careful, because um, I'm pretty sure they can shoot the Goyo from the hatch, and that's probably gonna get open. But this shield with the new slits, man, it's just, it's like playing Mira right here. It's great. Like. This is a good shield, it's really overpowered. And I honestly think that it makes Garage, if you can hold a shield here somehow, it makes it really viable, right? I've seen yellow shields. I'm not a fan of yellow shields. I feel like they don't really do much. I feel like you're wasting a shield on a yellow shield, but that's just my opinion. If you want to, I've seen a shield get set up here. Not a Goyo though. Don't set up a Goyo there, it's gonna get shot. This one can be a Goyo shield though. That can be kind of terrifying if they know it's a Goyo shield. Um, in terms of red shields, I don't put any Goyo shields in red unless I'm doing this one. Because if I bring it back here, it's gonna get shot from yellow. If I bring it this way and face it this way, it's gonna get shot from lockers or spiral or even archives. So I really don't play with a red shield here. I never have. Uh, deployable, yeah, but Goyo, no. Uh, last spot that I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna briefly touch on archives. I'll leave some shield spots that I uh, have used way back in the day. I have never played Goyo on the split site, but I'll show you guys some shield spots on the split site when we get to archives. I don't use anybody in lockers. No, I don't use any shields over here. 
But for shields and security, I call this security. Um, I, I mean, you could do this. You can do a, a really kind of nice one is you make rotate hole, right? And you put a shield in a rotate hole. If you're in um, lower level ranked, I highly recommend doing this because they don't expect it. The power of this shield, right? Now granted, careful, the bomb chassis is in the way though. If you have a guy in cafe, you can use this shield. The power of that shield is it covers me, covers my rotate, so I only gotta worry about yellow and the hatch, and that, right? But it covers me from garage, and then if they try to plant over here by yellow stairs, I can peek it, right? The disadvantage of having a shield is that I either have to vault it to cross, or I have to expose myself, and as you guys can see, that, so each garage panel is one, two, that's one panel, so that's a panel, that's a thick panel, that's a panel. If they breach the middle or the right side, I have to expose myself a lot more. See, without this shield, I can sneak across this and only expose myself to this side of the garage, but now I'm exposed to the middle and the right side when I go around. So that can be a risky shield. If you're going to put a shield in some sort of rotate type scenario, I highly recommend putting one back here. I really like this shield. Uh, it's like playing Mira again. Basically, on this site, what I would recommend the most for a Goyo strategy, right? Because your shields are going to get destroyed. Put them down where you'd put Miras, right? We've seen Miras over here, right? This is a good spot for Mira, for yellow. So maybe try to figure out where you're going to put your shield. You can make a rotate over here, right? Or in the middle if you so desire. Is that a picture frame? No, that's rebar. And really go with the whole... Okay, this is awkward. Thank you. You know, you could put a shield here and play it like a mira, you know, attached to the wall. You got angles on all three of those, and then you just got to be careful of yellow. Put a shield here. You, you're kind of miraing over here. Put a shield over here. Kind of miraing this. And they're going to get destroyed just like a buck would destroy above. So I'd recommend, if you are going to bring Goyo, bring something like Smoke 2. And... Mix up where the shields are and where the Goyo shields are. And what you'll find is if the team is not coordinated enough, your Goyo shields are going to stay up and you're going to be basically playing with three Mira shields, right? That's kind of the nickname these have been called, is Mira shields. If there's a good buck player, it's more BS that he's going to have to deal with and you're going to waste more of his time and you can set him up so that your roamer can go counter him in a, in a late flank. So that's really it for this video. I don't really set up in piano. Um, I just, you know, sometimes if I'm like joking around and memeing, I'll put like a rotate on this wall and attach a shield here. Or um, I haven't used the Pro League Mira that faces down there at all. I will put a shield here. If I'm playing in bathroom to defend piano, I'll put a shield here as a time waster. Right, it's a good time waster. And I'll be playing my mirrors or whatever and shooting people from there. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments below. I know Consulate's probably one of the hardest maps to figure out where to put Goyo shields, at least in my opinion. So, yeah. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you guys in the next one.